Today the Lord has made we rejoice and be glad in. Amen. 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 Thank God. I'm glad to be in church. Amen. 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 Glad to hope. It's what God's got me told for. All right, let's sing the oldie but a goodie in page three and you have black book and your choir book you got in the pew. Uh, I'll fly away. One day we're going to fly away. Bye. 
the house of God today. Hey, oh, hey, man. I'm hey. glad to be back here. I can't wait. I didn't wait to get here today. I said, yes, right. Last time I said, well, I just can't wait to get to church this morning. Amen. It's good to be long to be in the house of God. Amen. Hey, hey, David said, he said, I was glad when they said it to me. Let us go to the house of God. He yes, also said, I'd rather be in a, 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 a doorkeeper in the house of God. He said, he just want to be around God's people hey, in his house. It's good to be here today. I appreciate the opportunity of being back in church. And thank God for everyone being here today. And I yes. pray, God, I pray today. I say, Lord, just move among us today. Yeah, and pray you'll do a great work in us. And give us what we need this morning. Because we all have need. Yes, and we all have to need God to do something for us. So we're going to pray, Lord, in prayer. Ask God to meet with us this morning. And continue to be with those today. Continue to be with Brother Mike and his family. Pray for them in the days ahead. God give them strength. Uh, Y'all pray for them. Good to see Sister Diane. Amen. 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 And I know she's Amen. glad to be back in church. And you can hear to pray for her. Uh, about another month, she's going to have that procedure done. And hopefully after that, Things to get back to normal again. Amen. We're going to pray for her to do that. <clears throat> uh, you remember her. Continue to remember these other. To pray for my grandson. He got he was running a fever this morning. They take him to rapid care or whatever to try to see if like he may have the flu. But you pray for Nolan. I know we appreciate I appreciate you praying for my grandson. And many others are sick today. Let's just pray the Lord to help us this morning. Yes. Pray God to do something special here in his house. I just want to see the breath of God. Yeah. God yes. this morning. Yes. God do a work. And you know, well, I'm going to get scared when that happened. But hey, I love yeah, it. That, 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 I love it. I used to get it, scared huh? when it happened. Yeah. I got saved. <coughs> and I said, oh, I love it. I love yeah. it. Let's pray the Lord to be with us yeah. today. Uh, I know we all have unspoken requests. Let's just pray yeah. God to each other. Yeah. Lift each other up in prayer. Pray the Lord to help us. Every day is a new battle for all of us. Amen. Amen. Right. New challenges all of us. And we need to pray God to help us to shine like a like a diamond on, on a black velvet case in this world. Yeah, amen. amen. Christian. Let's amen. pray that we'll do that. We're going to pray today and ask God to meet with us this morning. Let's just go, Lord, in prayer. And we're going to receive the offering. You give as you feel led to give. And you get, give the offering a time. You can do that. Uh, I'm just thankful. And, you know, I will come back offering. But I said, that's amazing. That's amazing how people be given so good. I've been to yeah. churches that run ten times much of that. You might have to lock your car. Lock your car. <laughs> 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 and I went to church years ago. It was probably about 150. I think he had to, I think it's probably about a, about a seven hundred dollar offer. Lord. I thought, Lord have mercy. I hope uh, everything's secured in my car. Amen. <laughs> You know what, though? I learned a long time ago, you ought to give because you want to, because you love God. That's right. Amen. Amen. Not because you're afraid God will kill you. Because That's right. God. That's Amen. wrong. That's all you ever heard people say. I'm going to pray, but I'm afraid God will kill you. You're missing the whole point. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. That's just being thankful for what God does you. Amen. 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 But I'm glad and grateful to be back in the Lord's house. I'm praying for God to do something this morning. Amen. And I believe he wants to today, don't you? We, we've had a really been a kind of a tough week for some of us. Yeah. But you know what? God's got a place. We're in oasis Amen. this morning. Right. God's going to give us that what we need. You know, I'm glad that every day is under the green grass. Yeah. 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 God, let's just pray the Lord. Be with us. Let's stand and go to the Lord in prayer. And you sing the offering and we get in prayer. And Brother Mike's going to lead us so. <coughs> let's just go to the Lord in prayer and ask God to help us this morning. Amen. Brother Jason, how about blessing off today? Thank you, Lord. Thank you for letting us appear this morning, yes. dear Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray for this service this morning, dear Lord. Let's pray for this good us meet, Lord. Yes, yes. God. Yeah, Lord. Just show up, dear Lord. You bless everybody yes. 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 to the And the preaching, Lord, do this. Yes. Yes. Uh, preach, 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 Bless this offering and you feel yes, today, yes, Lord. We just go back and you praise it. Just the first thing. Amen. 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 If you would please, hey, turn to page 159. I believe this song is appropriate for what my family and all have been through today. It is well with my soul. Yes, sir. Page 159, we're going to sing the first, second, and the last. <laughs> when peace like a river
Down here the burden's heavy and the road is rough and long. Sometimes my feet get weary and so
His followers are in mourning, for in the tomb their Savior lies. But at the grave, something is happening as death screams, I've lost my hold. Angels rise in anticipation for the sun Amen. Amen. is coming home. And there he comes, and he's got the blood that he shed on Calvary. And the Father says, well done, my son, this is the last blood I'll ever need. And there he comes, and he's got the blood that he shed on Calvary. And the Father says, well done, my son. This is the last blood I'll ever need. This is the last blood I'll ever need. Amen. 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 The way seems dark before me, so dark. Sometimes I can see in my confusion. I stumble along oh, yeah. uh, through eyes of pain and sorrow. I wonder about tomorrow, yeah. and it seems.
can't beat the hay sandwich, so I, I thought I'm very tent down. I'm glad to know it. Good song. Amen. I just saw Jesus. Amen. Yes. yes. That's what Rob Man says. I just saw Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, he did. I believe it, amen. And I got to say it. I said, I just saw him. Yeah. 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 I see him. Thank God. Ain't that good. Amen. 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 Turn with me to Isaiah 9. We, last week, we preached on the wonderful council. And the next couple Sundays, uh, today and two more Sundays, we're going to be preaching out of this one verse. Being this is Christmas time, it's approaching very rapidly. Where did this viewer go, folks? I don't know. But I thank God that it give us another year. I told my grandchildren, my wife, my daughter, my son-in-law, Thanksgiving. I said, I thank God I'm here with you this year. I could have been in glory. Yep. Paul said it was far better, but I'm glad the Lord spared me. But I'm glad to be back in the Lord's house today. Amen. And I want you to look in Isaiah 9, verse number 6, if you have your Bibles. Isaiah 9, verse 6. Well, unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Amen. Thank you for your word, Father. Yes, yes. Bless me. Ask you, God, right now to bless us and help us. Give us exactly what we need, Lord. We'll love you and thank you for everything you've done. In Jesus' name. Yes, amen. Amen. The Bible says he is the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. I want to take that second description that he gave of God. He said he's the mighty God. We need a power today that's beyond us. We in ourselves, in our own power of the flesh, can't sustain through the storms and the things that we go and we face. A lot of people tonight, a lot of people today, I guarantee you during this whole thing with, with Miss Danielle going on to be the Lord, people wondering how people can sustain all the pressure and keep pressing on. It ain't their power, it's the power in them. Yeah. We got to understand that He's a mighty God, and He sure is. They don't have how I did how I have any idea how we survive all that we face sometimes. There's a story about an uh, uh, airplane flying from the United States to London, England. Sitting by almost halfway across the ocean, the pilot, the light, the pilot come on, on over the loudspeaker and said, Ladies and gentlemen, we just want to let you know that one of our engines has went out, but don't worry, we've got three left and we'll be just an hour late while we live. Later on, he come back over again. He said, I want to inform you another engine went out. We'll be two hours late this time. Then again, he came again. He said, this is the captain again, and we want to let you know that our third engine is blue. We go one, one, one engine, but don't worry. We'll be there four hours late. And he said, one of those men, one of those men there said this. One of these men said this. Lord, have mercy. If that fourth engine blows, We'll be up here all night. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't understand the important. He didn't understand how dependent that he was on a power beyond himself. Mm -hmm. A lot of people this morning are really reaching and reeling and worry over everything that's going on yeah. in this world. Yeah. Let me tell you, folks, huh? I don't worry about tomorrow because I know who holds tomorrow. Amen. 
We worry and boy, what we're gonna do, preacher? We're gonna do like we always have done. We're gonna work, we're gonna trust God and keep going on. Amen. Yeah, amen. But this man did not understand how to pity he was a power on a power that's within himself. Even in, in here in Moore County, there were a hundred, about 40,000 people without power. Seemed to think there were some men, some people who it was, went to set two or three power, the uh, substations, and they seemed to think that they, they shot the transformers out and got, they think what, that, that's what happened. But we don't understand how important we depend, what we depend on, electricity to, we ain't got electricity. We don't understand how much we depend upon the sun to come out to warm and to light, it, uh, and light the world every day. And I didn't really appreciate this. I got sick in February. I didn't appreciate how much I appreciated the oxygen that I got in my lungs every breath I took. Amen. It's easy for all of us to take power for granted. It sure is. But the most important power today is the power of a mighty God. <coughs> you hear today, you say, preach, I don't need God. Someday you will need God. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. You say, preach, I'm doing all right all by myself. But well, one day you went to God, you would turn to Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Right. Amen. You see, because he had power to save, to lead, to, and to finally to take us home to be with him. That's what I'm trusting in. Someday when this life is over, Someday when my, when my body takes its last breath in here, I'll end up catching it in another land. Amen. But I'm depending on that power to take me home. God has a purpose in his power. They said years ago, one of those talk show hosts had a bodybuilder on there. On there. And he got up when he walked out there, you know how they do, do they do all this, all this junk? People went crazy. And he was going to sit down and talk that uh, announcer said, uh, I want to ask you something. What do you use those muscles for? He looked at him kind of crazy and he got up and got at him again. <laughs> but he went crazy and that announcer still said, why do you use those muscles? What do you use those muscles for? <laughs> and he dumbfounded found in that bodybuilder. You know why? The power he had was useless, but mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Let me tell you what or not we need to understand this morning this. Jesus, the Lord, has purpose in his power. Yeah. I want to preach today on the mighty God. Hey. He's a mighty God today, folk. Not only is he mighty, he's an almighty God. We're coming upon today the season of celebrating the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. But it says he's a mighty God. But you know why I look at what that word mighty means? You know what it means? It means champion. It also means a hero. Yeah. You know what a champion is? Listen, it is good. It's one that's left standing after a conflict is over. A champion is the one who still stands when all others have fallen and failed. Ain't that like God? Amen. <laughs> a hero is one who gains respect to people because of his feats that he performed. That's just exactly a great description of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He fits this description to a team. When you were little, did you have a hero? I remember watching Batman. Y'all remember watching Batman Amen. in the 60s? Amen. That was better than this myth that come out with today. But I always loved it. And them, you know, them villains scared me to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, little young, you know, you're a little stupid. You can... Yeah. <laughs> but always in the end, the hero come out on time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm glad no matter who we face, for our hero, I love my hero. He hung on the cross. Amen. Amen. My Amen. hero all power. Yes, Amen. it is. Amen. Praise you God. You don't stand today, friend. There's a mighty God who's able and willing to save you yeah. and give you. You say, preach, I'm not happy. I'm weary. I'm miserable. Let me tell you that. There's yeah. one fix for that. Yeah. And he's name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you that. We need to understand this today. When we were little, we had little heroes. Let me tell you what. I'm glad the almighty God 
brought me to warm it. Yes, amen. 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 He brought me through the fire, through the flood, through the flame, through yes. the tears, through the heartache, through the trouble, through the to the to the sad times of my life, and he'll take me to a place where I'll never have to worry. Amen. Amen. Hey. We see here the definition of the title Almighty God. We also see the, 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 the exhibition of the mighty God. In other words, how he's, how he's shown himself to be mighty. You see over here in this scripture we read you, Isaiah in them, for look, it looked bad in Isaiah's days. Judah was in collapse. It was morally in collapse. It was collapsing. Politically and nationally. Ain't that, don't that sound a little bit familiar to you? Mm -hmm. But God, you know what? God revealed to Isaiah, everything was bleak. <laughs> he said, he, he, he revealed to Isaiah, he said, he's a mighty God. You know, he's an age still on the throne today. I'm glad this morning that he is on the throne. We've seen things happen in 2020. I will never forget the year 2020, will we? Amen. Amen. Right. They thought they'd shut us down with COVID, but guess what? We're still alive. That's right. And guess what happened? The Almighty God done that. Mm -hmm. I'm, no matter what the ex-governor of New York said, God done it all. That's right. Yes, he did. Old Combo said, God didn't do this. We just, I think you're the biggest fool that ever was. Yes, amen. 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 But the Almighty God. Yeah. Hey, he's shown you for many times in your life, in my life. Amen. Many times he's been through the valleys and heartache, and we say, hey, I can't make it. But God said, yeah. you can't. Yeah. But I'm mighty, yeah. and my power will yeah. never defeat. Yeah. It will never fade, and it will yeah. never weaken. Amen. Amen, Amen virgin. <laughs> I'm glad that he's still on the throne in 2022, folks. Yes, amen. He was been working in history. Bringing about his perfect will. You know what he said? He said, We're going to, I'm going to rescue that remnant that's left and bring them back from captivity. You remember that when the Jews were in captivity to the Babylonians, all of a sudden, God brought them back out. From the brink of defeat, God would, they would mark, God would snatch them out into victory. Many times in our lives, as child of God, Brother Mike, we get to a place, we feel like our back is to the wall. We feel like the Israelites, that when, they, when they were in the Red Sea, that the rainbow was in front of them and the Red Sea was behind them. They didn't know what to do, but all of a sudden, something showed up. Amen. Oh, Moses, you finally said, you stand still and see the salvation of God. He said, and God made what? Now, he, you know what he did? He did something like this. And he parted yeah. the Red Sea and walked down the Let me tell you, I said, he's shown time and time again he's mighty. And let me yeah. tell you today, he's still mighty. Amen. 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 That is the entire thing with the, uh, of the Bible. The fiery furnace. You know what? God brought them out. Yes, they said, you're going to bow down and worship him. They said, we ain't going to bow. They say, bow, burn. They said, heat the furnace up, honey, mm -hmm. we ain't bow. Yeah. But guess what happened? I like the end of the story. Amen, don't you? Amen. Yeah. The Bible says they threw them in. And it was so hot, the ones that threw them in, it killed them. Mm -hmm. But I can see them as they fell in mist and stood up. I believe old Shadrach looked at them too and said, look who's here. Yeah. Hey, man. Let me tell you today, friend. Let me, the Bible says in Daniel 6, 20, and when he came to the field, he talked about the king of kings of Babylon. He cried with a lamb of the voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said unto Daniel, Oh, Daniel, listen to this, listen to this. You have a copy of this Oh, Daniel, the servant of the living God. Amen. Is thy God, whom thou servest to teach able to deliver thee from the lives? Then Daniel said unto the king, O king, live ever. My God and city of Daniel shut the lion's mouth. They did not hurt me for as much as innocent who were found in me and also before thee, O king, I'm not hurt. The old king went to bed that night when they beat them boys. That old king, I could see him there in them, the furnace too. I, I kind of got the cart before the horse did it. But you see there in that furnace, old king bent over. I believe, I believe he bent over. And he looked at me and said, Did we cast three men?
men in the fire. They did. He said, but I see four men in the fire. Mm -hmm. And he looked like the son of God. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, you may be in some of the fire and furnaces in your life. Amen. And you feel like you're not going to make it through. Let me tell you one thing about this story. Amen. What four, uh, three men went out, the four men were walking, the three men come out. Where's the fourth that he's still in the fire? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's still there. Yeah, he's still yeah, mine. Yeah, he's still yeah, all yeah. right. He's still God. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. may go to the fire. I'm glad you ain't going to go alone. Yeah, he's going to die. Amen. 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 He's working in the event even though we don't even understand or see it. Yeah. In other words, old said, the wheels is turning. We don't see God's work. Yeah. Well, my God will be glory on your daughter to death. I yes, amen, amen, sir. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Whatever type thing is a season and what it says, a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. He's an almighty God. It's showing. Some of you today is sitting here there have been drastic and very critical times in your life. You've had financial troubles, you've had physical problems, you've had spiritual problems, and everything did not God deliver you. That's right, preacher. It sure did. Like that old song, the cathedral song, he said, He's the all time undefeated, undefeated champion of love. Yes, he is. He's not just the Almighty God, He's the Almighty God. That's right. We tell you what, folks. After Jesus died, after He resurrected, uh, the, the star, He's trying to stop the preaching of the gospel. The Word of God said that the disciples increased, increased. The gospel began to be preached everywhere. Amen. You know, with their armies and prisons and torture chambers and gathered, they still failed to stop the gospel from going out. Amen. They throw the Christians to the, to the lion and wrong, but you know what? They only increase the interest of the people in the power of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Let me tell you today, friend, he was a God of the history. He's God of, God of the history. And he's going to be a God of the history to come. There's something on the work right in the work right now. And I, I believe, Brother Mike, that 